Alright guys, uh, today uh, I will be showing you how to add some little a little extra security to your Schlag uh, deadbolt, Schlag uh, residential locks. Um, you don't need very many tools to do this. Uh, Allen wrench, tweezers maybe. Um, I used a hacksaw in here uh, for a few different uh, things. Uh, one was to make a uh, plug follower out of a Walgreens pen. Uh, like I said, you don't need to have any special tools. But uh, um, the security that I will be adding today will help against uh, picking. Uh, it'll make it a little more difficult. It's not going to be pick resistant, I, but uh, it'll make it a little more difficult. Okay, so uh, the first thing uh, you're going to want to do is remove your deadbolt. Okay, uh, and there will be a screw on the back side. Uh, well, first off, you'll have uh, the locking mechanism on here. Uh, you're just going to wiggle that off. You're going to remove this screw from the holes here holding the plug in, and you can just slide it right out. Okay, now I have prepared a uh, secondary cylinder um, and uh, this one here has been cut on the bandsaw to make it a uh, cutaway um, as you can see um, we have uh, several pins in there you can see how it works there and here's the the back piece that you'll uh, need to be removing okay uh, what you're gonna want to do is take the key that it is keyed for and you're going to want to rotate it so it is in the unlocked position. Okay. Now that it's in that position, you don't have to worry about your bottom pins falling out. And you want to make sure those stay um, in position. That way it stays keyed to your correct key configuration. Um, what you're going to want to do is uh, some of them may have a just a flat uh, piece of metal that's crimped in there. You can uh, carefully pry this out where the edges are bent over so you can slide it out and save it. Um, it makes it a little more uh, difficult at the end um, getting it to stay back in there and keep spring tension. Uh, now this lock here has been rekeyed in the past by a locksmith and set screws were added in the top here. Uh, it does make it a little bit easier. You can do one cylinder at a time. What you're going to want to do is take the Allen wrench and you will remove these set screws. And for uh, saving time I will skip ahead to all the okay, set screws. Guys. Uh, now that the set screws are out, you're going to want to carefully remove uh, the springs and below the springs you will find several uh, pins that look uh, similar to this uh, the ones that were actually in here uh, is right there uh, as you can see uh, it's just a regular standard smooth sided pin uh, the pins we will be replacing it with are spool pins okay if you look at it closely you can see that it looks like a spool that thread would be wound around this gives false shear lines when an individual is trying to pick this lock okay uh, what we're going to want to do is take those pins the the new uh, spool pins and drop them in the cylinder okay and we're gonna do this with every uh, cylinder hole here okay and once you get that uh, dropped in there you don't have to do it to all of them um, the more spools you have, 
the more secure your lock's going to be. You will then replace the springs and you will be replacing the set screw just right on top of the spring or the flat piece of sheet metal. You will be sliding it in the groove and then recrimping the edges. And once I get these set screws back in, uh, we will have a lock that is a little bit more difficult to pick. Um, there are uh, ways around it. makes it a little more difficult to bump uh, this lock as well. Uh, individuals can purchase uh, keys uh, or make their own, such as these. Uh, they are cut to the deepest depth on all the keys and it is uh, lightly tapped on the back end while giving a little turn and it can uh, jar the pins and send them up above the shear line opening the lock. Okay, uh, Now what we have is spool pins all the way across in there. That adds a false shear line uh, making it more difficult uh, for an individual to pick it. As you can see, the same key opens that this lock because I had uh, turned the cylinder and kept the bottom pins in line. Uh, the next video, I will be showing you how to uh, key this for a different lock. Uh, I mean, a different key. Enjoy. Okay, guys, um, here's a non-secure uh, lock, uh, just normal top pins. As you can see, the, um, there's just one uh, shear line in there. And it makes it uh, fairly easy for someone uh, with very little uh, knowledge of how to pick um, they can easily I wasn't even trying to pick this just now I was just sticking it in trying to show you guys and if you noticed the the plug uh, had just spun on that okay this <laughs> I just stuck this in uh, non secure pins non spools non mushroom pins uh, the, the lock picks are very easy um, so you do want to add that extra security that was just a little side note to go along with uh, the security uh, lock there. Um, and hopefully you guys will uh, get your locks uh, keyed a little more secure.